Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Donna and I am the Creole Crafter. Today I have four high-end home decor DIY projects for you. Here are the supplies you need for DIY number one. I have some Waverly chalk paint in white. You can find that at Walmart. I also have some nautica rope that you can get from Dollar Tree. I have some tumbling tower blocks that came from Dollar Tree. I also have one of those wall stick on decal from Dollar Tree. And I also have a piece of that solid um, cardboard that I got out of my cardboard stash. It just came from a box that I had. It's real solid. First thing we need to do is to get everything painted. And I'll be painting the piece of cardboard with some of that um, Waverly chalk paint in white. And I'll give it one solid coat. I'll only be painting the front side of the cardboard and I won't do anything to the back. The next thing we need to do is take some of that super glue wood glue from Dollar Tree and some hot glue. And I can't tell you exactly how many tumbling tower blocks to use because I don't know exactly what size um, sign or cardboard you're going to use for your project. But you just um, glue your blocks together to make a frame for your sign or for your piece of wood or cardboard, whichever you have. And right here, I'm going to take some of that Waverly Antique Wax and I'm going to stain the tumbling tower blocks with that. And all I'll be doing is just brushing it on with a paintbrush and wiping it off with a baby wipe. And the next thing we need to do is take that Mod Podge and we're going to coat the entire piece of wood, I'll say wood, or cardboard. And because we're gonna place our wall decal on the um, cardboard, and I'll be centering it, Try at least try to center it as best I can on the cardboard. And I put the Mod Podge to uh, help it stay. And it has an adhesive on it, but I want, you know, add the Mod Podge for extra security. Um, so I don't have to worry about it lifting up or anything like that. And usually with these wall decals, you don't have to worry about air bubbles or wrinkles or anything like that. As long as you just take your fingertips like I'm doing here and just pressing down on it and uh, making sure that it's secured. And next thing I'm going to do is take the nautica rope and what I'm going to do is use some hot glue to glue it around <clears throat> all four sides. Yeah, all four sides of the cardboard. And I'm just using some hot glue for that, but you can also use tacky glue if you have that and it'll serve the same purpose. And what I did was I dry brushed it with some of the antique wax and I put the nautical rope all the way around and I took four wooden beads and I got from Dollar Tree to hot glue them to the bottom. So um, it can have four feet and it can be a riser tray. And I think this came out absolutely adorable. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think, guys. I think this is so, so cute. First, say it was so, so simple. It was real easy, guys. And um, I think it came out so adorable and so high end. You can put it on um, your table or a shelf or wherever you can dress up any space in your home. Okay, right here. DIY number two, here are the supplies you need. I have some of those blocks, and I got those at half price, y'all. It was after Father's Day. Yeah, after Father's Day sale. They were only 50 cents, and I was so happy to find that because I just love clearance. And I have some of that um, chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, that black um, chalkboard paint. And I also have some burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has put out the new fall picks, y'all. And I had to get some because they are so, so beautiful. Look at that. So I'm going to use some of that and some of the stick-on letters also from Dollar Tree. Now, the first thing we need to do is get everything painted. So we're going to take that chalkboard paint in black and we're going to cover the entire block. 
the whole entire thing just painted off and we're going to do that for all four of our blocks and with that chalkboard paint i only needed to do one coat surprisingly but what i made the mistake was i didn't come back with the um mod podge to seal it in so i have a few nicks on it when i'm you know you see when i try to put the ribbon on it i'll show you i had a few nicks so what i did was i went back before i glued the ribbon on i went back and i coated the whole entire block with some mod podge the ceiling that painted then I came back and I added my ribbon to it and all I did was put the ribbon around it and sized it and cut and see I'm showing you right here the nicks where the paint came off because I didn't seal it in so take your Mod Podge and seal your paint in and right here is where I put the ribbon on I just put it in the center hot glued it down on one end and wrapped it around and hot glued the other end and then I took the black and white um, gingham ribbon and I layered it on top of the um, other ribbon. Y'all, I can't think uh, what is it called. Burlap ribbon, yeah, burlap ribbon. And I'm going to take my stick on letters and I'm going to use the letters H, M, and E because we're going to be spelling out the word home. And you'll see what I'll use for the O in just a minute. I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. And thanks to all my newbies. Thanks, new subscribers, for becoming a part of my YouTube family. And if you're just stopping by today, hello there and welcome. And if there's anything in this video that you like, give me a big thumbs up. And don't forget the notification bell. And also, consider subscribing to become a part of my YouTube family. Also, thank you guys so much again, and I love you guys to the moon and back. You are truly a blessing to me and my family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So right here, you can see where I took those letters, and I used a little hot glue on the back of each letter because of it being um, the ribbon, the material. I want to make sure that it stayed put, so I just used a little hot glue to hot glue it in place. And right here, I left that one of the squares blank i mean when i say blank meaning without any ribbon and looking at it afterwards i said that i should have added ribbon ribbon but i like it the way it is and what i did was i took one of those daisies off of that pick and i'm going to hot glue it onto the square to represent my letter o and i think this one came out so so cute so cute leave me a comment guys let me know what you think about this DIY project. <clears throat> and if y'all hear any type of noise in the background, let me apologize because I'm on vacation and I'm actually in my hotel room doing my voiceover. I did all the editing and everything else in the studio at home, but I didn't do the voiceover. So I apologize if you hear anything that sounds kind of odd. And there it is, home. And I think this is so, so cute. And I'm just showing you here, you can stack it any way you choose um, to fit in your space. At home, you can um, stand them up, um, put them two on top of two, or however you want to arrange it. And there it is. Okay, here are the supplies that you need for DIY number three. I just took some newspaper and I cut out two strips and I have two spaghetti sauce cans that I use for cooking and I save the cans. I also have some more of that chalk paint, that black and white gingham ribbon, Mod Podge, and the burlap ribbon, and the adorable fall pick that Dollar Tree has on. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> we're gonna paint our cans with the um, black chalk paint and we're gonna paint the entire can. We're going to do the same thing for both cans, let it dry completely, 
and then we're gonna add our loose paper to our tins with some Mod Podge. Now remember guys, like I always say, I'm gonna put your Mod Podge where you want your paper to stick. So that's what I'm doing here. So um, I'm just putting, using a sponge, a piece of sponge actually, and I'm um, gonna add the newspaper on top of that. <clears throat> I use my fingertips to um, to um, to uh, oh god, here I go with these words. Uh, the newspaper to adhere to the can. I'm just using some eyes project on my fingertips. Yeah, there it is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god okay we're gonna wait until that completely dry and then the next thing we're going to do is add our burlap ribbon and our gingham ribbon around the middle part of the can you don't just have to do the middle part you can add your ribbon to the top or the bottom whatever makes your eyes happy um this is just for inspiration and this is where I like my ribbon to be in the middle of my can. But you can place yours wherever you like. And you don't just have to use that burlap ribbon or that gingham ribbon. You can choose whatever ribbon you like, whatever color you like. Um, you know, you, you, you're going to make it your own. Or you can make it just like mine. I think mine is beautiful. So you might want to make yours just like mine. If you have that color in your home decor you know if it's gonna blend in with everything in your home yeah you can do this and all i did was took a piece of floral foam you know the floral foam that you get from dollar tree and cut off uh a daisy off of that beautiful dollar tree fall pick and add it to the can which is now a beautiful little planner and i think that the newspaper is such a grand idea i think it's so cute and it makes a great conversation piece because, I mean, if someone comes to your home and see it, they can pick it up and they can start reading. They can have something to read, you know, the newspaper. So isn't that adorable? That is so, so cute. I love this. I think this one is my favorite. Yes, it is my favorite. Okay, here are the supplies you need for DIY number four. I have some more of those wall decal stickers from Dollar Tree, some uh, super glue wood glue, Waverly chalk paint in white, Mod Podge, some of the um, ribbon from pink silk ribbon from Dollar, not silk satin, I'm sorry, ribbon from Dollar Tree, four tumbling tower blocks, some of the giant craft sticks, those I found at Walmart because Dollar Tree doesn't carry the, the super large ones, the jumbo ones, and another piece of the solid cardboard. So what we want to do with that is we want to give the cardboard, well, I gave mine one coat of the chalk paint, but you may want to do two coats or three coats, or you may want to choose a different color paint or a different type of paint. That's your choice, but I went with the white. Yes, I did, because my wall decal is, I think it looks better with a white background. That's why I chose the white paint. So what I did was I took my craft stick and I cut off just the round edges of each end of the stick. And I'm going to paint it that uh, parfait pink from Apple Barrel that you can find at Dollar Tree. And I let my craft sticks completely dry. And what I'm going to do next is hot glue them around the um, cardboard to um, put a frame around the cardboard. Yeah. Right here, what I'm doing is I'm taking the Mod Podge and I'm going to coat the whole entire um, front of the cardboard so I can adhere the wall decal to the cardboard. I mean, you know, it already has that adhesive, but I want to do the Mod Podge to make sure that it sticks and make sure it stays put where I put it. And um, plus the Mod Podge gives it such a nice, beautiful finish. And that's why I like using the Mod Podge for something like this. And I'm just using my fingertips to make sure that it's adhered to the cardboard. And I'm gonna go over it with a coat of Mod Podge also to seal it in. And 
and I'm just gonna take some of this super glue no hot glue I'm gonna use some hot glue to adhere the craft sticks to the sides of the cardboard And there it is. And I also added some of that ribbon around it and I kind of blended in some of that pink parfait paint on the ribbon like dry brushes just so it all could blend in. And I made a simple shoestring bow and I hot glued it to the top. And I think this is so, so cute. Okay, leave me a comment, guys. Let me know what you think. I think this is absolutely adorable. And I just set it on top of the tray just to style it you know you can style it wherever you like in your home and here are the blocks and the planners aren't they adorable and it is a two-piece set all four projects are like two pieces go together to be set for each set the tray and the sign and then the well you see so, if there's anything that you like in this video, give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to become a part of my YouTube family. And if you do so, don't forget to hit the notification bell, drop down, click all, and YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. Bye-bye.